five abusive or violent actors on television who they are in real life it's hard to believe that these people are different in real life most people had witnessed how abusive and violent is their character on television it has become difficult to take their acting not serious it's a personal thing to a lot of people especially those who went through the same experience of being abused and assaulted even those who are against it makes them angry anyway people need to understand that it's just acting some of these actors are good people in real life in this story we are going to explore life of five actors who appeared on our television as abusers and violent people who we'll see if that's how they are in real life or is just acting one yani so that is a south african actor dancer and choreographer most people recognize him for acting as tat on ashes to ashes his character was violent and abusive as well as short tempered he got his character in 2015 and it was his first time to appear on television after he performed in theaters for some time at first we thought that's it but he got another role to play on rhythm city where he was also abusive it shows that the producer noticed that he is good with the role like that also in 2022 he begged another role as dr lomo on the benjen his character is also short tempered and violent he abused his wife so badly with this character in the picture most people think that's who he is in real life actually nani so that is far different from the character he portrayed on television he's a married man with one child the actor is 35 years old as of 2022 his wife is a white person from germany they are inter- in a interracial marriage yani so that is married to a german white woman yana so that that the couple tied a knot in 2018 in 2021 the couple were blessed with a baby and we're talking about how they want their baby to be of resemble both their cultures although it's difficult for black and white people to accept their relationship the couple are still happily married and are in love in the eyes of people everything is fine and there are no complaints from his wife of being abused Two, Bongani Gumede is a South African actor who was well known as Opa on the lab. The actor has been known for portraying a violent or abusive characters. One of the characters he portrayed was on Rhythm City where he was abusing Puleng. He acted as Ngos and was very old than Puleng. Until now he begged different roles but mostly as fierce for women. In 2006 that's when he began acting on the drama series called The Lab until 2007. He also stayed in a film called Grace in 2006 as well as Catch the Fire. On Ekas our story he acted as Richard in 2009. The character was violent and abusive as well. He begged a leading role on Isibaya as Manda. In real life it's unknown if he's abusive or violent. man as he portrayed on television he doesn't share much about his personal life experience even his wife is unknown to the public hopefully he's a good man apart from that he also has a problem with alcohol there were instances where he was found drunk and uncontrollable it was reported that he would miss shooting scenes because of that we don't know how he acted in front of his family when he's drunk mostly some men become violent and abusive when they are drunk his story is very tricky Three, Kanye Somakanya is a South African actor who is well known for portraying a character as Njesa Onozalo. The storyline of Njesa is so interesting because it didn't begin by acting abusive or violent. Njesa was once arrested after assassinated his father. This up happened after he was trying to protect his family from his father later on he got into a relationship he began abusing his girlfriend the abuse was extensive that it triggered most people in the community viewers were angered by his character in such a way that some were planning to beat him up in real life so who exactly is kanyiso kanyiso is a 29 year old actor it's unknown if he's in a relationship with someone else we can't tell or either judge him that he is abusive or violent it seems like he came from a good family his character as injesa came about in 2015 after he moved from kwazulu natal to johannesburg he didn't get the role right away but later on after rejected for some time he started off as presenter before beg the role of injesa until now his character still continues Four, Patrick Shay was a South African actor and director. The man once acted as an abusive character on Soul City. It was that time he realized his own true character. A lot of people recognize the guy from different drama series such as Ashes to Ashes, Generation Zone 14 and Zero Tolerance. Actually Patrick was an abusive husband in real life and it was not just acting. After he was given a role to portray an abusive character, everything changed about him. 
you watch this character was so disgusted and this happened in 1997 since then he stopped assaulting his wife the interesting thing is that Patrick's wife remained silent for a long time. She explained that her husband began verbally abusing her until it was physically. This went on for some time and led to divorce which was unsuccessful. The wife tried to report his husband to the police but didn't want to tarnish his name to the public. We all know that the public considered him perfect or good man. In 1997, Patrick Shai was a changed man. He became professional speaker to a man at large even joining organization unfortunately he committed suicide on 2022 january 2022 the wife found his lifeless boat in a car which was parked in the garage nobody knows what triggered him to such an extent five last but not the least we have the samuloi he is best known for portraying a character as Winston on Generation The Legacy. It's difficult to convince people that he is a good man. His character on Generation The Legacy made people to think otherwise. He was violent and cruel. What an obsessed man he was. Leasa was born 1987 in Free State as a married man with kids. Despite being serial killer in different drama series, he's actually a good person. Judging from their picture, you can see his wife is happy. Although pictures that doesn't mean anything hopefully there is no information about him basically abusing his wife unless the woman speaks out our weight remains to be true that he is a good man if you find this video interesting please subscribe on our channel for more videos Thanks.